Thank you for joining me today. We continue with Psalm 100, verse 3. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Landis now graces us with a hymn. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and praise. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim. In the light of his glory and grace. We continue with Psalm 5, verse 3. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. And in the morning I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. Let us pray. We humble ourselves, O Lord of heaven and earth before your glorious majesty, where we acknowledge your eternal power, wisdom, goodness, and truth, and render you our heartfelt thanks for all the acts of kindness you have poured upon us. Amen. A reading from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 10 through 13. For even when we were with you, we gave you this command, Anyone unwilling to work should not eat. For we hear that some of you are living in idleness, mere busybodies, not doing any work. Now such persons we command and exhort in the Lord Jesus Christ to do their work quietly and to earn their own living. Brothers and sisters, do not be weary in doing what is right. Good words for us. Do not be weary and doing what is right. Let us pray. With hearts filled with gratitude, let us bless and adore our almighty and everlasting Father, praying praise to you, O God, the giver of all good gifts. Blessed be your love for giving your Son to die for our sins, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Praise to you, O God, the giver of all good gifts. Make us every day more zealous and diligent to use every opportunity to build up our souls in your faith, love, and obedience. Praise to you, O God, the giver of all good gifts. Make yourself always present to our minds and let your love fill and rule our souls in all those places, associations, and activities to which you call us this day. Praise to you, O God the giver of all good gifts. Now, God, we lift up to you these concerns of our hearts. Thank you for hearing us, God. And we join together saying, as Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 
Oh, Father, grant that we, together with all our brothers and sisters in Christ, may share in a joyful resurrection through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, our God, forever and ever. Amen.